Hello, 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 and welcome to Character Education. My name is JB, and we're so glad you're hanging out with us today. This is the place where teachers and students come together and learn about big ideas. Now, it's nothing more than something that grows inside of you to change the world around you. Things like honesty, self-control, and kindness. So, why don't we let everyone know what we're talking about this month? And everybody, start with the drum roll on your knees. Three, two, one, courage. Courage is being brave enough to do what you should do even when you're afraid. like things before, but that, I, no <sighs> question, is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen you do. It, but it was, it was amazing, but completely ridiculous. Oh, God. What? what? I appreciate it. I appreciate that, JD. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And I true, I, re I really mean that, okay? okay? But, okay, so this, everyone, is Andrew, and he's my co-host. Hey um, he um, doesn't normally look like this, um, but I mean, he dresses up from time to time, but um, he seems- I think I look good. Okay, but I think you've gone a little too far this time, you okay. know? I, I, no, I don't think so. Uh, I don't okay. think so. Uh, but the reason I know that is because- uh, I'm terrified of sports. And not just any sport, but... Dodgeball. Oh, my yes. God. Dodgeball, dodgeball. Which, uh, I mean, what, it, what, are you, what are you doing here? I mean, have you looked in the mirror? Oh, are you kidding me? No, I'm not, I'm not going to see myself dressed up like an athlete. Then, then why are you dressed up as one? To, to face my fears, J.D. It's to face my fears. That's what we're talking about, right? Is being brave, right, and being being brave enough to do what you should do, even even when you're afraid. I I mean I don't know if that exactly pertains to dodgeball, but but you're right, you're right, and uh, this is very brave of you. Thank you. Uh, I'm quite proud of how far you've come. Oh yeah, I mean it used to be even if I saw a ball, it looked like it might be thrown in my direction. I would run screaming and I would hide yep. in a trash can. Yep, I remember. I mean, so you dressed up and you made yep. yourself look like an athlete and, you know, dodgeball and, yeah. which, like you said, is, is amazing. And is Ooh. is there anything, you know, that you're going to do to overcome that fear? Or? Oh, gosh, it's scary. Well, yeah, you see, I, 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 JD, I tried out for the dodgeball team and what? I made it. What? And I'm so scared. I mean, okay, okay. congratulations, but Thanks. if if your if your performance is just a few minutes of what I think you're gonna do or what you know, it's um it's it's gonna be something to see for sure. Well, thanks. I mean, you know, so to help me get over my fears, even even more, you know, um, so that I could perform on the court in front of thousands of people, mm. um, I brought some things for you to help me. Okay, oh. I'll be, hang on. Okay, right. you brought some things. Yeah, in this bag. Um, okay, I'm not, I'm not dodging or getting oh, no, 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 hit by no, no, anything. No, like, no, 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 no. Okay. I got, I got, a, I got it here. Um, it's really simple. My coach okay. gave me this bag. Send some objects home with me that will, that will help me train. Okay. So. Okay. Now, what, what is this? What's in this bag? What is, what's? I mean, I guess we'll know? see. I, I, I don't know. You just put some things in there. Okay. I don't know if everything in there relates, but he just gave me the bag and. Okay. So. Uh, Okay. Uh, oh, okay. A, a clipboard. Okay, yeah, yeah. A clipboard. So, um, uh, what's on there? Tell me. Read what's on there. Um, it it just it says just ten jumping jacks. Like that's it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like just ten jumping. Okay. Well, I guess. So you want me to do that real quick? I guess. All right, ready. Um, <laughs> mm. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. Those um, were perfect, weren't they? Do you? But do you think that's really um, helping the issue here? Oh uh, yeah. Just keep going. 
What else is in there? Okay, all right. So, okay. Andrew, this. Okay. Oh. This is ridiculous. What? Okay. What? Just go, 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 go. Okay, but I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like, this is just. What do you want me to do with this? I pro. I don't know. Maybe dodge it or something. Come on, it's fine. It's Jeez, fine. I, I, you got. You gotta be ready. I'm scared. Wait, listen, I, I'm sorry. I just hit you in the face, okay? Listen, okay, but listen, I have a question for you, okay? okay. Um, since you won't even look in the mirror, yeah. uh, just to see as yourself as an athlete, what are you gonna do when you see all the other athletes? Oh, uh, what do you, what do you mean? I didn't, I didn't think about that. Okay, assuming that this is not a one-man sport, and oh, please tell me this is not just a one-man sport. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, no. okay, okay, okay. Whew. Somebody's uh, gonna throw it and dodge it. Okay, you know? well, yes. So, well, then what are you gonna do when you're not the only one on the court and there's other athletes dressed up in their uniform? Daddy, I, uh, I, can, I probably should go decline my position on the team. Yeah, that, that may not be such a know, bad idea. I don't know yeah. if I can do that. I don't but know. listen, listen, I'm very proud of how far you've come so far, okay? I'm very proud of you. Well, thanks, Jay. You're doing great. Thank you. Um, all right, so I'm going to go talk to the coach. I don't know that mm -hmm. jumping right into the team is the yeah. best thing. Yeah, yeah, I think that's good. Okay, I think that's good. all right. Hey! Hey, can someone turn the lights on? Whew, thank you. Can I admit something to you guys? That was not fun for me. It may seem like I'm a little old for this, but I'm afraid of the dark. Anyone else out there afraid of the dark? Or what about spiders? Or heights? <laughs> what about mutant unicorns with ice cream cones for horns and spaghetti for a mane with giant hooves made out of car tires? No, just me? Well, the truth is, we all have fears, whether they are common ones or fears that are unique only to us. Feeling fear is not something any of us enjoy. But here's the deal. Life can be full of scary stuff. Sure, spiders and unicorns, but also trying something new. Moving to a different school, learning how to ride your bike without training wheels, being in front of people, Lots of things can give us a belly full of butterflies, but courage says that we can be brave enough to face those fears. Having courage doesn't mean you aren't afraid. It just means that you take a deep breath, get yourself ready, and go for it. Being courageous in a new school might mean saying hello to people on your first day. Having the courage to try something new might mean joining a new sport you've never tried. Sometimes courage is just taking a small step and then another, and then another, until your fear seems far away. This month, have the courage to face just one of your fears. I am going to have the courage to sleep with the light off in my room, but on in the hallway, <laughs> just one step. So let's end this month by declaring our courage by saying it all together. Courage is being brave enough to do what you should do, even when you're afraid. Let's do it again. Repeat this one with me one more time. Courage is being brave enough to do what you should do even when you're afraid. Awesome. See you guys soon. It's a good day. Hey there, I'm MC Haggis. And this here, hang on Seamus, I'm introducing us right now, right? And this here is my beatboxing partner, Seamus McFamous. Not now. Give him a taste of what you can do with your beatboxing skills. Go. Hey, okay. This month we're learning about courage. Being brave enough to do what you should do, even when you're afraid. What? What is so important that you keep interrupting what we're doing here? Hey. Oh, it's a bug. It's a bug! It's a bug! Uh, oh, oh, I, oh. I, I'm not coming over there! No, 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 no those things are killers! Hey. <laughs> that thing has to go! Hey. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, I'll do it like you're doing and I'll decide to show a little courage. <laughs> I'm a big, brave dog. I'm a big, brave dog. I'm a big, brave dog. <laughs> Don't do that! Those things have teeth on the sides of their heads. Don't think I'll bite your arm off, man. Hey. Just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey. 
Okay, fine. Don't let me alone with it now. There's no one who will see if it eats me. <laughs> what are you gonna jar for? Who cares if it's thirsty? <laughs> okay, just throw it out the door, please. Hey. Okay. Okay, well, I think, I think this is a perfect time to rap about courage. Hey. Kick it. Being afraid is not a bad thing, I tell you that to encourage. But here's an idea to which you can cling. You can be brave enough to do what needs to be done, even when you're afraid, and that's courage. Word. <laughs> okay, word. Yeah, yeah, okay. We were both really good examples of courage today, eh, Seamus? <laughs> I feel pretty good about everything we just did. <laughs> Spider! Hello, hello, what is up? I am Sam, the scientist. I'm looking closely at the incredible things around us and figuring out how they work. Have you ever looked closely at something and it's like crazy? Like check out this leaf up close. Like wow, check out all of that detail. And we're not even talking about the, the whole tree that draws up nutrients from the dirt and funnels them through their veins and just mind-blowing. But it gets even more interesting when we start to look at another amazing example of science at work. It's us, right? The fact that any of us are moving or, or breathing, it's, it's a giant miracle in and of itself. We've got a brain and heart and lungs and muscles and bones and digestive system and nervous system and eyes and ears, and they all perfectly work together every second. I mean, one single cell is like Grand Central Station in your own body. Check out this like image of all of these cells and what it looks like. Now, I want to show you today about something amazing that happens in your body every single day. But we got to set the scene first, okay? Can I get uh, all of you guys to help me out here? Just, I need you guys to help me here. Uh, now, now make sure that we're healthy. We have to check our heart rates, okay? I don't know if you've ever checked your heart rate, but you have this artery right here on your throat, and if you put your finger up, you can feel it beating, right? That's your corroded artery. Now, I'm gonna help you count your heart rate. Um, I'm gonna count for 10 seconds, and you quietly count your heart rate uh, and see how many times it beats in 10 seconds. Are you ready? Go. And stop! Okay, now, take that number you counted, let's use a little arithmetic, multiply that number by six, and that's how many beats per minute you've got. So, multiply that up, maybe have your teacher help you out, um, and that's our heart rate. Now, there are some good, steady heart rates in this room. So, you guys are all qualified to help, uh, and I want you to think, have you ever seen a superhero movie? where somewhere in the middle, uh, the hero has to face something like really scary. Maybe it's like the big villain or some huge disaster or something happens to their own power or health and uh, th it always tests the hero. Even though we don't see it in the audience, something happens inside of them. Here, I need you to look at this for just a second. Really lean in, look at the picture, Focus your mind and eyes on the image. Ah, sorry, guys. Um, I hope that didn't scare you too bad, but real quick, while you're still scared, check your heart rate again, okay? Everybody put your hands on your arteries again, and ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, multiply that by six again, and uh, you think your heart rate spiked a little bit after getting scared, right? 
Fear, uncertainty tend to do that, and your heart starts racing, and in, in fact, that's what happens in the superhero movies, right? When they're like facing the big bad guy, their heart rate increases, um, it gets faster, uh, and that's part of your brain called the amygdala. Everybody say that, amygdala. There are two parts just behind the eyes, uh, over from the ears, the amygdala is like the brain's alarm system, right? Yeah, your amygdala is just waiting to take in bad news that comes in through your senses. And when something happens, like an unexpected loud noise, sorry again, or seeing a, a threatening giant coming at you, the amygdala sends off a message and it releases adrenaline and cortisol, uh, and that causes your blood pressure, heart rate, and breathing to increase, right? More blood flows to your limbs so you can throw a punch or run for your lives. Uh, or your hands, you know, you ever had your hands start get sweaty, your knees a little bit weak, right? That's all your body responding to fear. Now, here's the catch. Some parts of your brain are so busy amping up your body for action that other parts of your brain get shut down. Uh, what part of your brain do you think that might be? Any guesses? If you guess the thinking part of your brain, then yeah, that's why we sometimes make really bad decisions when we're scared or stressed out. Uh, it's hard to learn or remember things when we're constantly scared or afraid. Uh, when your heart rate jumps and your thinking shuts down, there are actually some things you can do to help. The first thing is to take some long, deep breaths. Everybody do that with me. In and out. Oh. Does anybody practice breathing like that? Because I know I do. Uh, and the air goes all the way down into your body. You feel it all the way in and out. And maybe you feel calmer even now, like I sure do. And you can also make a plan, right? Step by step to face that fear. Guys, thank you so much for helping. And just remember, fear is totally normal. And those messages that your brain sends to your body, they can be super helpful if you need them. But remember that when fear strikes, you take some deep breaths and ask for help. Make a plan to face that fear. And you know what? I know you all can do it. I believe in you guys. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm Lawson and I'm so excited to be talking to you instead of going to the dentist to get a filling. Your appointment's in one hour. Right. Anyhow, I've got this super awesome story for you today about this girl named Claire who's my cousin's friend. Now Claire is saving up for Christmas presents because she wants to get super duper awesome gifts for her family this year. So she's really excited when mom gets a text from their neighbor, Miss Richards. Miss Richards will pay Claire to water her plants every day while they're on vacation. Claire can't wait for payday. She's like, I'll do it. And the next day, Claire goes over to the Richards for instructions. Miss Richards shows Claire the watering can and introduces her to the plant babies. Krista Fern, Fluffy, Spike, Pepper Potts, and Katniss. Claire tells Miss Richards, I've got this. Have a great trip. Miss Richards hands Claire the key, but just as Claire is about to leave, Miss Richards says, oh, you don't need to do anything for Sylvester. And Claire asks, who's Sylvester? And Miss Richards says, just our pet snake. <gasps> Claire hates snakes. She can't tear her eyes away from Sylvester's beady gaze. So she just smiles and nods at Miss Richards and escapes as fast as she can. At dinner, Claire can't eat because it feels like she's got a snake squeezing her throat. And at night, she can't sleep because every time she closes her eyes, she imagines snakes. <laughs> Next day after school, it's time for Claire to go water the Richards plants, but she can't make herself open the door. And mom's like, what's wrong kiddo? And Claire confesses, I'm a total wimp. Cause she's afraid to walk past Sylvester the snake. And mom says, 
You can be afraid and still be brave. So, Claire takes a deep breath and opens the Richard's door. She picks up the watering can and looks at Sylvester the snake. And even though Claire's shaking in her boots, she walks right past Sylvester and she gives every plant baby the water it needs. Claire is so proud and relieved when she's done that she sleeps great that night, snake free. So kids, don't forget to be creative with your neckwear. And always remember this, that courage is being brave enough to do what you should do, even when you're afraid. See you next time. And cut. So about that uh, dentist appointment. Uh, we leave in five minutes. Maybe I'll ask the dentist to give me bangs this time. I think I'll buy it. I don't really know what to write today. I'm tired. It was a great day, but... Remember last week when Will asked me to go with him to get his medicine? I think I didn't say anything at first because, um, I was scared. I didn't know if there was going to be a lot of sick people. I didn't know if Will was going to be okay, and I didn't know if I could catch something bad, and then I'd be sick too. But Dad said that when Will asked, it was an honor. It was okay to be scared, but I had a job to do, and it was important. Turns out he was right. We got there and they put the chemo bag up for Will. He couldn't move around, but we played some games. We talked for a while. and he got really sleepy. He looked cold, so I let him use my jacket. Waiting wasn't so bad. I met a nurse who told me that I was doing a good thing. And that everybody needed a friend. Will was good when it was over just tired. Well, what? Did you talk to your coach at all? I sure did, JD. Okay, I okay. Sure did. And he was okay with you not being on the team? Well, you see, he was, um, he was kind of relieved. I wasn't actually <laughs> supposed to make the team at all. He just made a mistake. Oh, okay. Well, I guess yeah, right. yeah, but uh, but after you know talking to you and talking to the coach, and telling him about my fear of athletes mm -hmm. and dodgeball, mm -hmm. he actually offered me another role. Oh, really? Huh? Yeah, yeah. He said that I could serve the dodgeball team and that 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 might help with some of my fears of athletes and dodgeball. You know? Okay, that, that sounds like you have a smart coach. So so so, what's your role? What's your role? So I. I get to be the towel and water boy. I, I get to I get to bring them towels when they're sweaty, you know, and they get drinks when they mm. when they get thirsty. But but I won't be in the game. So um, that way I can get used to being around them. Mm -hmm. Plus, mm -hmm. the coach is super nice, mm. and I think mm -hmm. it'll be a good step in facing my fears instead of just you know jumping all the way. Right, yeah, I think right. it's like a good baby step to right. overcoming my fear of. Okay. Athletes. Okay. Wow. That's that's a great way to look at things. Thank I you. think I think that's really Thank good. You. Thank you. All right. So let's say our big idea one more time together. Okay. Repeat after me. Okay? okay. Courage. Courage. Is being brave enough. Is being brave enough to do what you should do. To do what you should do. Even when you are afraid. Even when you are afraid. All right. Great. See you guys again soon. See you guys.